Hello everyone and welcome. Every year about 37,000 people die in vehicle crashes on America's roads. Wait a minute, is that, is that really what we're starting with? It just seems a little dark. That's, that's, okay. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, also known as NHTSA, wants that number to be zero. There we go, that's happy. Something I think we can all get behind. And that's also why I've teamed up with NHTSA to inform you about four different driver assistance technologies that can help make cars safer. And look, here's the thing. I know you're a great driver. You wouldn't make any mistakes, right? It's all those other drivers you gotta worry about. Well, you just might be convinced that some of the technologies in this video are genuinely useful to everyone. And if they are, you can, you know, recommend them to a friend or something. First up, rear automatic braking. Rear automatic braking uses sensors, like parking sensors and the backup camera, to detect the presence of objects behind a car. If the car is in reverse and about to hit something, first it will alert the driver. If the driver ignores the warning or doesn't react quickly enough, the car will automatically apply the brakes in an attempt to avoid the collision. Now look, I get it. You're the perfect driver. You'd never bump into anything or hit something backing out of your own garage. But I bet you know someone who might. Maybe this technology could help them out. It's like having another set of eyes. If you're in the market for a new car, check to see if rear automatic braking is an available option. Next is blind spot intervention. Correctly positioning your mirrors can often help to eliminate blind spots while changing lanes. But that's not necessarily the case for all vehicles, nor all driving scenarios, even if you also give a quick glance at the lane you're about to join. Many newer cars have reduced rear visibility, whether in the name of aesthetics or for structural reasons, making it more difficult to check your blind spots. Blind spot intervention is a system that can help you. It uses rear-facing cameras or proximity sensors to detect when a vehicle is in your blind spot and will activate if you ignore the blind spot warning and start to change lanes into a detected vehicle. At that point, blind spot intervention may automatically apply light braking pressure or provide a steering input to guide your car back into the original lane. Next, we have lane keeping assistance. Okay, so here's the scenario. How many times have you been driving down the highway, watching a car ahead of you drifting in and out of their lane? But what if they had lane keeping assistance? The system uses cameras on the car to identify road markings and determine the boundaries of the lane. If the driver starts to drift to the edge of their lane, the system intervenes using the steering or brakes and gently guides their car back to the center. And if they're intentionally changing lanes, no worries the system won't activate if the turn signal is on. And finally, automatic high beams. Here's the scenario. You're driving down a road and the car in the oncoming lane has their brights on. You flash to let them know and still nothing. They just keep on driving towards you without a care in the world. Meanwhile, you're being blinded, trying your best to see your lane and avoid running into anything. But what if their car automatically turned off the high beams as you approached and then turned them back on after you passed? Automatic high beams use photometric sensors or onboard cameras to look ahead and automatically turn your high beams on or off depending on the traffic in front of you. Now here's the deal. I get that this video is a bit less technical than usual and covers broad safety topics, but when NHTSA reached out to me about covering these technologies, it's the overall goal that I'm convinced is a good thing to shed light on. Most of us believe that we're excellent drivers and it's everyone else that you have to worry about. In reality, we all make mistakes. The majority of car crashes are the result of human error. The key is figuring out what technologies can actually help us in the event we make a mistake. The good news is, even as more and more cars enter our roadways, fatal crashes have continued to decrease as vehicle structure, restraints, and driver assistance technologies continue to improve. Again, the goal here isn't to take the driver completely out of the equation, but to provide assistance in ways that continue to reduce the number of fatal crashes and injuries. To learn more about new car safety technologies and understand how they work, you can visit nitsa.gov. Thank you all so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below.